Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. I hope you're doing well. For this video, I'll be showing you how I go over coloring this drawing I have on my sketchbook. I took inspiration from this photo I saw on Pinterest and I decided I wanted to do a nighttime version of it. When I want to paint a scene that I'm not the most comfortable with, I will start by doing some studies of the colors that I'm going to use or the scene that I'm going to paint. Uh, I'm going to have a lamp with light and doing this sort of transition from light to dark is something that I'm not at all good with, so I wanted to do some studies of that. I started by doing it in watercolor, but I didn't like how it came out. I switched to acolines and I am not very familiar with how they work. Uh, I was never really fond of them either, but I thought that since I have them, I should try and actually use them. I began by doing some swatches, some color mixing, just to get a feel for them. And then I decided to paint a miniature of the scene I was going to do. feeling more comfortable I can start to paint I wasn't really sure how to start because I don't usually paint scenes like this but I began by laying down some light tones and I did this with blues as I was doing this I started realizing that echolines aren't as easy as I thought they would be especially when it comes to mixing them and transitioning onto paper they don't seem to bleed in onto each other as well as watercolors do so that's definitely a minus for me i love how watercolors are so easy to blend echolines on the other hand are not at all that easy i also found that if i laid down a dark blob of paint and tried to smooth it out with water it wouldn't just do it it would always leave a big mark where i had laid it out down first and that is something that I really hate. I love just putting a blob of watercolor onto paper and then with water fading it out or taking it to a bigger area. And as I was figuring out that I couldn't do that here, it was really messing with my head. After a while, I started getting used to it. And although I committed the same mistake, a few more times, I started kind of getting the hang of it. I found that echolines also have an advantage for me when it comes to painting. I need to layer a lot of watercolor to actually get a saturated color or the color that I'm aiming for. And I didn't need to do that as much with echolene. The color I had usually was the color I was going to get after it dried or after I laid it down, which was a plus for me because it meant I didn't have to layer as much as usual. However, as I previously stated, uh, the fact that it's not as malleable as watercolor kind of outplayed that too because even if I got the tone that I wanted, just the fact that I can't really stretch it out with color and a damp brush really makes it hard for me. I kind of enjoy how solid the colors look 
I call him kind of reminds me of a mix between a Copic marker and watercolor. I also like how they won't lift up as I'm painting. That was definitely a plus. I really enjoyed being able to go over the same area with the brush multiple times without having to worry. But I don't really like the texture that some of the areas got as they were drying. Maybe I put down too much ink, but it seemed to affect the paper a bit in some areas.
kind of enjoy acolins overall. I think I will be trying to use them again in the future. I think I still need to practice a bit more with them to get some effects that I want and to learn how to blend them better. But yeah, this is the final drawing. I hope you enjoy how it turned out. See you all later. Bye!